Welcome to Time for Tots. Our story today is Too Much Glue by Jason Lefebvre. Our art teacher says, too much glue never dries. She reminds us, glue raindrops, not puddles. And she warns Maddie, too much glue. Look at all the glue Maddie has there. It's all stuck on his fingers. But my dad and I love glue. At home, we make glue glasses, glue mustaches, and even glue bouncy balls. Mom is happy to help. Look, Mom has a glue crown on her head. So during art class, I find the fullest bottles of glue. I tip them over and squeeze. Poop! Look at this big thing of glue. Glue squishes from the orange tips and slops all over. Sequins and googly eyes float around in a gluey lake. Then it's time for the most important decoration. And there he is, jumping, and he says, Geronimo! And he belly flops onto the table and rolls around, letting the glue and everything else cover me. So there he is, all covered in glue and sequins and googly eyes. I think that's kind of a mess. Time to go on the drying rack, I announce, but when I try to pull myself off the table, I boing right back down. Too much glue, Maddie, too much glue, my teacher squawks. This is bad. There's only half an hour until the end of school, and all I can do is lift my head, wave my hands, and wiggle my feet. Uh-oh. The rest of me is a blucky, stucky mess. Can somebody help me, I call. While my teacher breathes into a paper bag, Noah shouts, let's lasso him. Izzy, Noah, and Owen get to work. Soon I'm roped from all sides like a rodeo pony, but when they try to pull me out, snap, the lassoes break, leaving colorful octopus tentacles everywhere. So now he has glue and googly eyes and sequins and all these ropes sticking out of him. Don't worry, Maddie, we know what to do, shout Luke and Grace from across the room. Is that a tow truck, I ask? And there it is. As they wheel the contraption over and stick a plastic hook into my suit of glue, my friends pull one way and the glue pulls the other. Creak, click, creak, click. Until... Kaboom! The tow truck explodes and plastic bricks rain all over now. I'm a clicky, bricky, clingy, stringy, lucky, stucky mess. They're not having much luck, are they? The school nurse bursts in and checks my temperature. 98.6. Sorry, no fever. I can't send you home early. She dabs and pats me like I'm spilled juice, but the more she blots, the more the glue spreads. Soon, I'm a melted mummy, clicky, bricky, clingy, stringy, blucky, stucky mess. Things are not going well. Then the principal comes in. He takes one look at me, sticks a note on my belly, and leaves. Seeing my teacher huffing and puffing like a train gives me a great idea. I whisper to Haley and Owen. The final bell rings and everyone freezes except Owen and Haley. It's the biggest one we could make, they shout, furiously flapping a huge paper fan at me. Then, just as I'm thinking, I'll be a note on my tummy, melted mummy, clicky, bricky, clingy, stringy, blucky, stucky glue boy for the rest of my life, my plan works. Something my teacher said could never happen happens. The glue drives. But I'm still stuck, and now I hear footsteps. The door starts to open. 
I wonder who's coming in. My father and some other carpool parents walk in. Dad comes closer and inspects me. Then he peels me off the table, glue, yarn, bricks and all. He spins me around. No one makes a sound. Then Dad smiles. Maddie, you're a masterpiece. He holds me up for everyone to admire. My friends all cheer. The car ride home is interesting. Can you see what's happening? Look, there goes string and plastic bricks and googly eyes. Everything is flip-flopping all over the place. Mom is speechless when Dad brings me in the house, but he knows just what to do. Well, kiddo, Dad says, some beautiful things only happen once, and this is one of those things. He gently grips the dried glue in front of my neck and behind my collar and peels me open like a ripe banana. Now it's Dad's turn to glue, and he seals up the sides of the me-shaped work of art. I bet it would take all the glue in the art room to make a U-shaped work of art, Dad, I say. Dad laughs. Then he glues a big magnet to the back of my project and hangs it on the fridge. During dinner, we sneak peeks at my masterpiece, and after dinner, We take the principal's note very seriously. And this is the note from the principal. And it says, please encourage Maddie to use tape instead of glue. So here they are after dinner making things with tape. So I thought maybe we would like to have a little bit of fun with glue now that Maddie and his dad did. So I have two plates here. And I put a puddle of white glue on it. And this little blue blob is some shaving cream. And up here, this second plate, I have some freshie. So I'm going to mix those together. So with the shaving cream, it gets all puffy. And it turned blue, of course, because the shaving cream is blue. And with the Kool-Aid, this was red Kool-Aid, so it's making my glue red. So now I have red glue. And I have blue glue. So I just have an empty paper plate, and I have some packing peanuts, just some of those little white scrunchy things that sometimes come in your packages in the mail. And I'm just going to have some fun sticking these things on. I'm going to put some on both sides of my packing peanuts. So one side is for sticking, and one side is going to be for a little bit of color. I'll just put a little bit on top here. And then we can make it a red and blue design. And if you have different colors at home, you could make a very colorful picture using your packing peanuts and your glue. So this just looks like it's going to be a frame, doesn't it? So have fun gluing at home.